we're looking at a series of molecules here to see which one contains certain types of polar bonds and really is what we want to do is focus our attention on anything that's not carbon or hydrogen because that's going to be a situation where we're looking at a polar covalent bond so in the first question here they want to know of all these compounds which ones have no polar covalent bonds well if we look at the ones that lack a heteroatom that is anything other than oxygen nitrogen or a halogen uh, it becomes quite straightforward so A contains no heteroatoms as does C and E and we keep going along here and that covers all things without a heteroatom for compounds that contain a polar single bond to hydrogen, well, again, we're looking at something other than carbon, so things like oxygens will form a polar bond to hydrogen. So if we survey this series of molecules here, we're just looking for molecules with a heteroatom bonded to hydrogen. H contains that, as does L, NH and OH bonds. Um, the third one here wants to know which compounds have polar single bonds to carbon. So now we're looking for a bond in which a heteroatom is bonded to a carbon atom uh, such that it's just a single bond. B contains a carbon-oxygen bond. However, this is a double bond. So we'll continue along here. In D, we have a carbon atom bonded to a bromine. and That's a single bond, so we'll record D here. And moving right along, still looking for anything bonded to a carbon with a single bond. Here we go. G has a nitrogen bonded to a carbon. That's going to be a polar bond. As well as H, a carbon bonded to an oxygen with a single bond. And a carbon in I is bonded to a chlorine, a single bond. So we'll record that one. I and J contains an oxygen carbon bond and in K we have a carbon single bonded to a chlorine and finally in L we have a carbon single bonded to a nitrogen. For compounds having polar double bonds, well now we're just going to scan here. First of all we need a double bond and we need a double bond that features a heteroatom and B is exactly that, a carbon double bonded to an oxygen. So B definitely qualifies, as does F, oh hold on, G excuse me, F features a carbon triple bonded to a heteroatom so we will exclude F. In the case of G we have a carbon double bonded to a nitrogen so that qualifies. And in I, we have a carbon double bonded to an oxygen. That works. For K, we have a double bond, but there's no heteroatoms involved. That's just a carbon-carbon double bond. That won't work. And that covers all things with polar double bonds. For polar triple bonds, now we're surveying for triple bonds. C contains a triple bond, but again, this is between two carbons. That's not going to be polar. We jump down to F. This is a carbon triple bonded to a nitrogen, and that certainly will qualify as a polar triple bond. And that's the last molecule that has a triple bond, so that should cover it. And if we just go ahead and submit, that is the correct sequence for this series of molecules.